Hi, Scorpio. This is Just with your October 2016 reading. I hope you guys are having an enjoyable day so far. So I do see for some Scorpios, some of you have gotten a promotion. Okay. And um, I feel like some of you have recently gotten a new job. Uh, started a new business and it may be taking you but particularly for those of you who um, are moving in a brand new position brand new job that sort of thing it may be taking you into a new um, atmosphere new um, like you're traveling to a new vicinity so you're outside of your own vicinity uh, you may have to travel a little bit longer to get to work um, others of you are just completely relocating and going to a completely different place that is a of a distance um, so you in fact completely moving um, and I feel like this is something that has been long and coming. Some of you could have been in one place for about a year and now, um, and so could, some of you could have been, <coughs> excuse me, in your same position for three years, uh, living in the same place for three years, have wanted to move on, not had the opportunity. Um, or for some of you, it may be on the third year, you may find yourself actually saying, okay, I'm officially moving. Okay, so it could be at the end of this year, top of next year that you're going to actually be moving because a new opportunity will be coming your way. But for most of you, it's happening now. Um, and I do see that with this move, you're feeling so good. And actually with this new promotion, this new job, it's paying you far more money and you feel so much better like you just have and and actually for a lot of you it's something that you you have been calling into you because there's been this strong desire and this I feel like a law of attraction has been manifesting this um, opportunity for you guys okay uh, and I do see that there has been a complete transformation of Scorpio whether you guys believe it or not you're in transformation mode yeah you are the snake shedding your skin once again because that is scorpio um and i feel like change for you like the re the, the reality of change is has happened very swiftly um whether you know it or not some of you you're not even aware that you've changed um leaps and bounds and i feel like other people realize it more than you do you are like what i haven't changed but yeah the reality of, of it is that you really have changed and i feel with it is has come a lot of mental the end or you're at the precipice of the very end of the mental hang-ups okay um now here's the thing i feel like for those of you that are traveling i'm sorry for those of you who will be moving okay um <clears throat> and going into a new environment a new job that sort of thing uh i feel like there could be now there is a, a caveat here okay with this move as the month progresses i feel like initially um you're gonna feel really good about it like right now you guys feel really good about it okay some of you are moving you're like yes it's great finally i can move um and you're moving fast okay but when you do move there is going to be some challenging situations that happens with this move it seems like what every sign i've read for thus far but i think the exclusion of one um the latter part of the month is sound is seeming to be a bit challenging okay uh so um i feel like for some of you that's starting a new job there may be a problematic situation like once you start the job like they could have promised you and sold you all kind of stuff about you know how great it will be and yeah 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 and then when you get there you're not gonna be making as much as you thought you would be making or in order for you to make almost as much as you thought you were going to be making you would have to work like crazy like they didn't tell you like this is mostly a commission job but you know we pay you this amount like there's some some things that were not said okay um some things that were not clear things that were not said i feel like um as the month progresses you you learn more and i do not have the moon car here but the cards that i have definitely communicates that as you, the month progresses and you move further and further into this new opportunity you learn that um okay this person is telling you okay well you're not going to be making as much money as um 
as you thought initially because maybe your hours are going to get cut so you're not going to be making as much and then some of you may start this job but by the end of the month you're no longer working there for some of you but i don't feel like it's going to be a, a huge percentage of you um i feel like some of you will decide to leave okay and you're saying no because they're, they've mis misrepresented themselves okay um so some of you will get clarity and say okay i'm leaving but some, for some of you for most of you as far as the severance is concerned i feel like the severance is going to be coming from um the person sever, sever, severing excuse me ties with you okay um i feel like there can be now there's gonna be money is gonna be fine for you guys i feel like some people might be owing you money um and if that's the case then i feel like um it's gonna be like some court so some of you that's going to court um for whatever reason if you sue somebody you're in litigation about some money's owed to you you're gonna get your money <clears throat> you're gonna get your money if you have an attorney they they're really good at what they do you're gonna get your money and i feel like this is something that you guys have been trying to that you've been dealing with for so long trying to get your money trying to get this person to um give you what they owe give you your just due i'm um, i'm kind of getting like karma like justice being served for you guys the month of october um for past people that haven't been paying you your money from past people that have g tried to get the better of you um i feel like swift victory is coming your way okay and um i feel like there's gonna be a lot of victory now here's the thing i keep getting like this alignment be careful of who you aligning yourself with in the month of october because i feel like it's not going to be a good alignment and you guys are going to be totally emotionally distraught so again just be mindful read the fine print it's almost i keep saying to signs almost as if we're going through this mercury retrograde in the month of october but just be careful you know read the fine print um make sure that you know exactly what the money is all about make sure that you know um <clears throat> excuse me your bottom line how many hours you're going to be working make sure you know all of that because again i'm sensing that someone is going to be trying to um take could be taken from you to give a little bit to the to someone else or taken from somebody else to give to you is what i'm sensing okay some of you um at the workplace you're going to be working hard in the month of october some of you actually are going to be working overtime you're going to keep getting hours and hours and hours and hours and you're going to be like listen i can't you know like i can't work anymore this is, has got to stop like i'm mentally spent now be careful about trying to come up with any I saw this immediately. Be careful with aligning yourself with someone that's trying to um, give you a get rich quick scheme. Be careful with trying to rush off to do anything as it relates to finances in the month of October. Because I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be all about action, little talk and action period like you want to you you're, you want action and you have a couple of dollars so you're feeling like okay i can make this happen but as quickly as you try to make things happen is as quickly as you can lose some money too so be very careful this is you know um very important that you think very positively that you pace yourself in the month of october um yeah pace yourself as much as possible because there's a lot of changes that's going to happen swiftly swiftly like changes upon changes upon changes is going to be happening for you guys swiftly and new beginnings entering into something right now is not going to be easily for you to it's not going to be easy for you to get out of it's going to be very very challenging for you to get out of it okay and um so be mindful of that now some of you could be receiving offers for jobs of those of you that are looking for work and i feel like um there could be something blocking like okay so just be very careful if you're looking for work you know don't you know 
utilize recreational drugs and that type of thing like make sure that you are cleaning out your system and that you're doing everything by the letter because I feel like <clears throat> some of you could be trying to do things that are not ethical trying to feel for you know like okay I'm gonna you know use drugs and still apply for a job and think that I'm gonna you know get away with it and you're not that's the thing like you're not going to get away with it and it's only going to prolong prolong things for you because again i keep seeing this being offered something getting something starting something and as quickly as you start it it's ended okay as quickly as it started it ended okay um and some of you may not even see it coming you know, some of you may have already thought that, hey, you know, um, I got it. I got hired. So obviously, but but they were still doing the background checks, even though they were hired, they hired you, you started, they were still going through the background checks and then something came up and it's like, now you're going to get questioned about, well, wait a minute, you told us this, but now it's in fact that. So something about your past could be coming back to coming back to haunt you guys okay and where you thought you were on top at one point now you're back down at the bottom so just be careful with again justice is kind of coming to serve and for some of you it is coming to serve you and for others of you it's coming to serve others so just be mindful of that that i told you that and again i feel like you guys are not even going to see it coming like you're not going to see this coming at all um, trying to see what else now. Yeah, be very careful. But I feel like whatever this is, like these endings that's happening, uh, particularly on the workplace, something that starts and then bam, it ends immediately. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> That's helping you to get clear. So for those of you out there that's trying to be slick and, you know, um take you know you know do drugs or you know have fun in, in your downtime and thinking that oh no one's gonna know and then you get found out and then you do lose your job um that's for you to get clear that's really for you to get clear others of you it is to help you with this transformation because again scorpios you guys have massive transformations happening massive and you have got to allow it to happen. Now, a lot of you have thought of a really great idea to get yourself out of a poverty state. A lot of you are negative self-talking and I'm gonna need for you to stop doing that because you have everything that it takes in order for you to get the things that you want on your own. Now, let me say this, okay? I was about to start yelling. You, you heard it, right? Now, let me say this, okay? Um, some of you are losing jobs because a job is not what you're supposed to have, okay? So just take that as a message if you're losing a job. And I'm not talking about the ones that's out here doing things you don't have any business doing and then the jobs run your background and whatever and they find out. No, I'm not talking about you guys. I'm talking about the ones that are just la la la. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. This is what I was going to say. Some of you Scorpios, because this is the energy I was picking up. Some of you Scorpios in the month of I was going to say September. Maybe some of you already experienced this. But some of you in the month of October are going to be like, la, 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 la. Huh? Like I'm telling you. Just be prepared for that. Because I felt that energy the other day. And it was heavy for Scorpios. It's going to be this. You're going to be like, la, 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 la. Huh? Like, like, just off doing your thing. Like, oh, life is just fine. It's like, huh? Like that. I'm telling you. You're going to be at work. Like, ah, uh, huh? That's what I gotta call you. No, in the office now. <laughs> like, okay, just prepare yourself. Everybody said that. Others of you, you're trying to align yourself with things and people that are not beneficial. You can, this life you wanna live, this money you wanna make, this abundance that you wanna have, you have everything that you need all within yourself to get it. You just have to stop the negative talk. Stop thinking that you don't have what it takes. Stop thinking that you need someone else to get there because you don't. You don't. 
And for those of you that that relates to, that's who I'm talking to. Okay. Which is uh, most of you. Um, now, here's the thing. I feel like some of you um, are going to be. Okay. Some of you are have. Some of you have reunited with family. So some of you um, have reunited with friends. And this month, some of you are going to be very social, very social, getting out and about, that sort of thing. Some of you are going to get um, reunite with your father. Some of you are going to be reuniting with your children. But there's going to be some reuniting with um if some of my scorpio women you might be reuniting with your the father of your ch child you know you guys kind of all coming together and being it's i'm almost getting like a thanksgiving feeling like this um reuniting energy that i'm picking up with you and other people in your life okay but particularly uh for my women it's going to be uh, a man and a child and for my um men it may be like a child and some women okay <laughs> um but friends okay there's going to be like and and i feel like it's going to be very compartmentalized so some of you are going to be for, particularly for my scorpio men you're going to be women that you're going to be out dating the women that you're dating and hanging out with your friends and then some days you're going to be really spending one-on-one -on -one quality time with your son that sort of thing or your little brother but there's going to be a lot of um one-to-one -one relationships um reuniting relationships building back up those relationships particularly relationships that were um bad to begin with or bad for a period of time a couple of years or a couple of months and it left you or it could have left your mother in a very upset state someone very close to you were very upset and i feel like there has been some apologies i'm sorry and now things are starting to kind of work out and get balanced again okay and there's going to be a lot of transformation that comes out of that okay um yeah so i do see transformation coming out of some reunions that scorpios will be having uh with particularly family and friends particularly those of you that has been on the outs with some of them now let's go into love okay now, as it relates to love, Scorpios are not having it. You're not having it with someone. Some of you, um, there's been an olive branch extended and they didn't even reach you because you was too busy moving. Like, I mean, and I'm not talking about, oh, well, I'm packing up, moving myself. No, you're moving forward. You like, I'm out of here. Bye. Like, it was that. It was like before the person can even get by, it was one of those. He was already moving. Okay. Um, cause nobody have time for these games. Like that, that's how you guys, that's what you was thinking. Like nobody has time for these games. Bye. That type of thing. Right. Um, you guys are in a, a you guys are at a level of ascension. Okay. Uh, so hopefully they'll try to catch up. I don't know where they are down below, but you guys are way up there. Not even hearing them at this point. I feel like for love is very, very, your cards are screaming for love. And when I first laid them out, that's all I could see. I couldn't even, I couldn't see or feel anything else other than love. But, you know, um, we got through it. Now, I feel like you're feeling very uh, grateful. Like I said, money is looking good for you guys. You're going to be working really hard for the rest of the month and you're going to be making gains you're going to be making some money so in case i didn't say that part and i know i was saying some other stuff that you guys definitely you some of you needed to hear um money's looking good money's definitely looking good you're going to be getting money from people that, that owe you money you some of you are going to be working overtime you're definitely going to be working on focusing on work and you're going to be working hard and you you already have some money but i feel like you're, you don't believe you got again and i know i'm just talking about talking about love but it's making me go back here again you guys don't believe in yourself when it comes to manifesting the things that you want on your own on your own you understand what i'm saying so you may not believe that you can have your own house yes a house by yourself no you don't need to get married and be with somebody 
to have maintain in your own house no you don't uh you may be thinking that hell i cannot i don't have no money to start a business you don't need money get creative get you know use all of the elements that you have be a scorpio get all the way down to the bottom of how you can get done something done you know utilize your own god-given talents in order for you to change this mentality because i'm feeling like this is mentality because you guys got money on this on this car this table here now that is money on the table but i feel like your your the confidence level is the problem that's keeping you in this state of lack that's your confidence so let's start to transform that because we do have your card the death card here so uh yeah transformation is afoot now back to love um sorry i went on that tangent but i had to say that now back to love um i feel like a lot of you are feeling grateful okay and when i say a lot of you i'm including the men too i'm including all you guys so when i say um you're feeling grateful the money is good and i feel like some of you guys are starting to drink more water you're taking care of yourself more you're getting more spiritually aligned um you know what you want you know what your heart knows what it wants now that's not confused you know what you want. You don't been through enough raggedy relationships to know, no, no. And now that the money is increasing, you're really like capital N. Oh, that's why when the person came back, you was like, bye. <laughs> uh-uh. You know, I don't need validation from you anymore. I'm okay. That type of thing. Now, the reality is, is that the situation is over. The situation is over, but that's not stopping anybody from keep trying to call keep trying to knock on the door i don't see nobody knocking on the door but calling texting that type of thing good luck because they're not going to be able to get through because i'm seeing that some of them are blocked some of them are blocked and i know some of you guys are out there laughing like yes i blocked <laughs> oh some of you said scorpio men are saying yes i've been blocked <laughs> i know i was about to say sad choice, but i'm in scorpio um uh yeah so it's over and then someone is still trying to come and they can't because it's you're blocked you've blocked them okay so it's over like when i laid your cards out i was like damn scorpio's not playing it is over um so now here's the thing there's two men come on now there's two men scorpio men i'm trying to see what it's yeah there's two ladies too now you have one that's single one that i'm talking about to the scorpio men now um you have one that does really well for herself she could be she could be doesn't mean she is she could be an earth sign virgo Ta taurus or capricorn um but she may not have any children she does really well for herself <clears throat> excuse me um <clears throat> she has everything that she could probably want except for a relationship she probably has never been married uh the other woman in fact she could be psychic she could be somebody that um does like more like she may have i see both of these women could possibly have their own business if not they need to uh but the other woman could be um, very spiritually inclined she could do this type of work or some type of um alternative spiritual works uh she may do like oils and baths and you know just that type of thing holistic stuff pampering spa stuff that type of stuff um but one woman you know that you can have all that you want materially the other one you have more of a spiritual connection with now that's again for scorpio men for scorpio ladies um you have one person in your midst <clears throat> who has been a bit cold toward you and um he owed he owes you money so some of you, this could be an ex-husband. Some of you, this could be um, your children's father. Um, and I feel, or this just could be an ex that you have that owes you money. And I feel like he's been holding off from giving you damn money for the longest. Some of you could just be somebody that you're kind of like karmically stuck with because of some money ties that you have with this person. And he could be saying, hey, I'm cutting this money off. So just expect that, that he may be, he may give you something this month. And then you hear like, oh, no, we're going to have to change this up. I'm going to give you half. Or I'm not going to give you all of it anymore. Like there's going to be some type of changes with the money that is being given to you from this person. Or um, if they owe you money, you're getting your money by judgment. So again, if you're in court with this person now, 
I feel like this person, if there's two people and he's become aware that he was one of the two people, he's going to cut you off. Okay, so that it can work that way as well. All right. Now, do you see that there is um, that there is this um, other person? I'm sorry, I almost blacked out. This, this other person um, that um, you want to reunite, and some of you again are reuniting. You're going back to like for some of you that have like. Okay, so some of you are going to be socially dating someone like, okay, you're dealing with your ex-husband, your children's father, or somebody that you have some, just an ex, but you have some money ties with this person. Um, you're dealing with that, and I feel like there's going to be some type of breakup, some type of getting very clear about a money situation with this person, that sort of thing. Some of you also could be socially dealing with, have just met, when you were going out and stuff, you just met a fire sign. Yes, this damn fire sign. And you, somebody is just never letting this fire sign go, period. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, and a lot of you guys is Aries. Because Scorpios, a lot of Scorpios are dealing with Aries, from my understanding. Um, some of you are reuniting with them. Particularly, if, especially if you, some of you have a child by them. Or they just have a child. Uh, some of you could have recently met somebody that acts like a fire sign or is, and they have a child. Um, yeah, and I see that some of you are not necessarily... Now, here's the thing. If you're if you're tr if you're having... Because again, I, I keep feeling this Thanksgiving moment, like this reunion moment that Scorpios are having with someone, but it's a family type unit. Whoever's in your past... You know, it could be either one of these people, but somebody you're not linked with this person and this person have had you crying, upset, all kind of stuff. And just because either you've gone back or they're, they've gone back, it's not going to work out. I'm just telling you right now, it's not going to work out. This person there's another person with this person. OK, I feel like both of these people have somebody else. The one person you're dealing with, the one person regarding the money situation, I don't even feel like there's emotions to, between the two of you. I feel like both of you are, are like on guard and that's just what it is. Um, the other person, I feel like you have more emotions toward them, the fire sign. But this person is I feel like they're not just socially dealing. They're socially they're out there. They're socializing with other people. And whomever, again, some of you are going to be sifting through this emotion because some of you can't seem to let one of these people go. Like, you, you're trying to come up with an ability to, I feel, detach yourself from the one regarding the money. But you, you've not come up with the right plan to, uh, you know, you're still kind of tied to them with the money emotionally whoever you're emotionally attached to you know this person doesn't feel the same way or you don't feel the same way about them somebody's not feeling the same way about the other person okay somebody's in love the other person isn't isn't and if it's you you're very emotionally distraught over it or you have been and um trying to see where are we okay and um this person is a liar. You know, the fire sign, he's lying to you. If you guys have a baby together, not, it's not a baby. It's a kid or a teenager. This person is, <clears throat> excuse me, they lie to you. I feel like they, you know, they're very much into their child. And that's the reason why you guys are, you know, in each other's lives at this point. That's, they have a, they probably live together. Like he, his child lives with him. He is the primary parent of that child um and so that's his focus right now his focus is his child okay and when he has time he puts the time into you know socializing and right now you guys you know are not seeing eye to eye okay and there may be a point again where someone's going to extend an olive branch and try to talk but eventually it's not going to go nowhere because there's a karmic bond between you and this person it's very hard i feel like you guys keep going through the same cycle of like okay 
I come back or he comes back and everybody tries to claim that they're making a plan or coming up with something to make things better, but it only results in more disappointment and hopelessness. And then you find yourself going back, trying to bury yourself into work and getting over the situation, saying to yourself, I'm not going to go through this again. I'm done. I'm not getting my needs met. He duped me again. And then literally you go through the cycle all over again. So, um, yeah, you're going to need to get off of this merry-go-round period. I mean, cause I'm feeling, I'm sensing like this is some type of merry-go-round, but definitely with this fire sign, this is a merry-go-round. Now with this air sign, again, this doesn't necessarily have to be an air sign, but just somebody that has become cold toward you. I feel like this is somebody from your past that either you, your ex-husband, you have kids together or an ex that owes you something. And that's why you guys are kind of still in your, the, each other's lives because there's money involved. But this fire sign is a little bit more to this fire sign. And you're trying to, you know, some of you guys toward the end of October, you're going to be trying to offer yourself to them. Um, coming in a direction, but I feel like, um, the person may turn their back on you because they know that, you know, they're, they're not going to get swept up into all of this all over again. And then for some of you, the person, somebody is trying to offer themselves to you and you're going to turn your back on them because you're not going to be trying to get swept up into all of that toxicity anymore. But, you know, so, um, yeah, I'm sensing some of yeah, some of you is going to be you going to the person, going to that person, particularly definitely if you're dealing with someone that is likened to an earth sign, so Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, somebody that works a lot, you know, um yeah. They they don't want that monkey on their back and you are the monkey on their back. So <laughs> So that's what I have for Scorpios in the month of October. Uh, if this resonates, guys, definitely let me know. Leave a comment below. And uh, yeah, it looks like quite the eventful uh, month. I'm really interested in seeing how this resonates for you guys. And uh, if you are new to this channel, welcome, welcome, and welcome. Subscribe because I will be back very soon with another one. Take care, Scorpio.